All right, let's do the update for the, uh, oops, pulling things out of my pocket here, sorry about that. All right, do the update for the uh, salad bar tent. Or not tent, salad bar LED area. Uh, the kale, we've gotten our first, and I had a salad off of this kale this last week. But it looks like we're gonna have enough for another harvest this week. So Paula's gonna be happy about that because uh, she hasn't got to have, well no she did, she did have some of the extra that I had from when she was out of town. I left her enough for uh, a salad when she came back. So she was happy to get some of the nice fresh kale that I grow. And so it looks like we're gonna have enough for a, a harvest coming up. You can see the, uh, the seedlings are all still coming up here. They look pretty healthy. Gave them a nice little drink of water this morning. So they're a little moist, but they're not too moist. And you can see they're coming up uh, kind of sporadic, kind of all around. You know, it doesn't matter if they're too thin or not, because you know I can always take some of these. I can take a clump of this, and move it over here, and uh, it gives you it gives you overall better growth. And I found that by not crowding them, by putting them into rows that are about maybe five inches, six inches apart, I get a lot better, you know, growth and overall harvest for my continuous cut, come and cut again harvest on this kale because it gives them room to express themselves and grow better. I know that I used to have a lot of, when I would just seed the whole thing like this, I used to get a lot of bunching, and then there'd get a lot of yellow ones that were down in the center here that would never get their, their light to actually grow. So with this kind of a setup, I can harvest the top ones. The new ones that are kind of bunching out on the sides into the rows will actually grow and become the new tops. So it's, it's kind of, it seems like it seems to be working really well for me doing this method of uh, seeding for my kale on my indoor grow. But uh, that's kind of the update for this week. Everything seems to be going, you know, good. Got a lot of nice color on this. And, you know, this is the Vates kale. So it doesn't have a purple tint to it or anything like that. It's just a nice green kale. It's not, it's not a rough kale. And it's not a real dry, chewy kale. You know, people, a lot of people don't like the kales because, you know, they have that kind of a chewy, mealy taste to it. Whereas uh, this Vates kale is really good in salad, man. Paul and I, we really love this. All right. This has been the uh, update for the salad bar LED area. All right, talk to you again, guys. Bye.